Developing different programs to encourage the value of, specifically of the wildlife, or the value of the appreciation of the natural ecology or, or nature uh, in the general population of people, just a general appreciation of the wild places and wild animals um, is very important, as well as developing as within the hunting communities an appreciation for the non-game species um, that exist. And um, uh, there's uh, some really interesting models in Africa uh, where, uh, it, where when game species, especially large game, uh, isn't uh, hunted, uh, they don't have an economic value, uh, therefore the general populace doesn't value them and uh, they disappear. They don't have people to steward them. Mm. And so I think it's important to have a, uh, uh, to try to build value, uh, not only, mo you know, not only mo monetary value, but a, uh, Sort of a cultural value, <laughs> and, you know. So many, uh, so many areas of the planet um, have uh, our wildlife abundance is diminished, and it's really, uh, it's really special to visit an area uh, where there's still an abundance, uh, a great abundance, uh, and that's re one reason why I enjoy Alaska is because there's still a lot of abundance of wildlife there, uh, a lot of wild spaces that haven't been. One thing I noticed, uh, uh, first I, I looked on Google Maps mm -hmm. at uh, Cordoba yeah. and Argentina and very short, 10 minutes, and uh, I noticed there was a lot of agriculture. Yes, uh, especially in this area, mm -hmm. yes. And then I looked to the north, I think, and I saw forests, mm -hmm. yeah. and I saw areas where the forest was uh, missing. It was forest land. I'm not sure if those lands are in Argentina or in other countries. Uh, but, um, uh, and so the first thing I thought as we, as I thought about Cordoba on our flight here, um, was, um, was wondering if Cordoba has uh, a developed um, conservation programs with agriculture, uh, with the farmers. Uh, one thing I've been a part of in the United States that I'm very excited about, I think the United States is very successful, is how well they work with uh, the agricultural producers to teach them and help them uh, integrate wildlife friendly or wildlife promoting practices into their agriculture that is profitable for them. Mm 